Hello everyone. So today I will explain how I create a, a, a new open source project to using N NPL to to help how how you can create Prometheus queries on Grafana and Prometheus. So this is the agenda uh, we are talking about today. Uh, the Pimetius transformation Prometheus with NPL, the challenge why I create Pimetius, the power of the Amazon Bedrock and NPL, how Pimetius works, the benefits, open source transformation, and the future. So uh, you can, Im I think anyone here can imagine that some scenario when you are just uh, receive a call like 2 a.m. And you just uh, wake, and you need to go some ProQL and 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 a Prometheus or Grafana environment. So I have a, a problem in production, and my team just call me, and it's a uh, on Prime's production. So we don't have all the access like kubectl or other things. So I just access on on a vanilla uh, Grafana and Prometheus installation. So it's really, it's really hard to uh, try to remember how the Prometheus works, how you can do this and that. So after this, I just, I just think how I am can create a, a perfect query to, to, to guess what the environment do and how the problem can, can I can figure. So after this, I just, I just thinking, I need to create a, a new open source tool with some relative name uh, with the Prometheus because I think it's funny, so I just call it Epimetheus. So Epimetheus is a cousin slash brother of the Prometheus. So this is my tool uh, can, you can install in every Kubernetes environment or AKS, okay? Uh, so you can choose any, any bedrock uh, LLM support. I'm using Cloud2 because it's the cheaper. You can good the uh, good good results with this. So you can uh, uh, you can type normal like what happened yesterday with all my pods uh, like 8 a.m. So I can transform this and PromQL and you can run in your Prometheus and get this so more faster and accurate to search what problem you can do and what you can have. So the installation is super easy. I just create a Helm so anyone here can install. It's, it's just like a Helm install uh, Capimetius. So it's super easy. The benefits for me is uh, you can, you don't, you don't need to remind how the Prometheus works. You can use this in all the uh, AWS environments, so it's super safe. You don't, uh, it's, it's, it's a compliance with any PCI, HIPAA things. So you can, you can do a, 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 a birth of the copy material. So I just, I just create uh, the name with K because I'm using Kubernetes, so when I go to the GitHub, Someone just keep Epimetheus, so this is why I call this uh, Capimetheus. So um, it's finished. Anyone can 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 go to the GitHub and 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 get a Git clone right now. So you can install, and you have a, a Helm install, a, a Grafana, a Grafana plugin, and you can try in any environment uh, like a Minikube. So for this presentation. I have a quick demo. Uh, I just uh, create a folder in the GitHub called AWS reInvent to anyone can throw in any notebook, okay? So this is why I, I do after I show the roadmap. So now we have the AWS Bedrock integration. Uh, we have the Grafana plugin and we have the Helm installation. So after this, I, I just put in the roadmap uh, support to any 
uh, any local LLM options or any others uh, op uh, um, open LLMs or open AI LLMs. Um, after this, we are just starting to uh, a, a really cool insight called Live Insights Engine. So um, the Capimeteus can be a watcher in your log. And if your any pod get uh, a limit like a memory or CPU, they can automatically uh, change the deployment to apply this in the production in, in the real time. Okay, every demo in the history has failed. Let's to do try this not not going so well. So this is my machine, okay? This is the the Apple. You can uh, anyone can can go and and look, okay? I just create the AWS uh, reinvent presentation, so anyone can clone. So you can just have a, a, a run script, and this script uh, delete the, the copy materials uh, in the Municube, create some policies on the AWS client, attach some users, so uh, you can try this with any AWS client configured in your computer. So now it's just starting the operator and the starting to run the Grafana with the Grafana plugin. So we can, there's just starting, okay. Just a few, a few seconds, I think so. Okay, now after that, uh, I, I create a, a port forward to test with a local host. So you can have a, a a Grafana local host and uh, an application running all the Capimeteo score. So you can access with the default user, it's admin and operator. So after this, you can go to the app, and you see the the copy Matthews. You can do any question, and you can see to the configuration. So you can run uh, the copy Matthews uh, on your in the same infrastructure, or you can create an API to run in a different cluster or or environment. Okay. Uh, so let's go. I just create some questions to make this faster. So you can transform to this question in a prompt well. So after this, you can just copy the the prompt well, or you're just open on the on the Grafana. So this is a, a simple query, but you can you can. You can uh, uh, imagine it, the power of this, but you can create complex queries using only the, the natural language. So it's, it's really easy. Let me show another query like this. And there, there's a history too, so you can check all the history to, to, to see what query you're doing. And this is, I, I'm looking the pods running on my machine, so this is why they started just a, a few seconds ago. But I think, it, I think this is the, the most, uh, the most valuable vision. Okay, let's come back to the uh, presentation. So we are just doing the live demo. I think that's it. If there are any questions, uh, you can you can tell me on the linkaging. Uh, I just invite anyone to contribute to my project. It's open source, so anyone can 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 contribute. Okay, that's it. Thank you so much, guys.